Hi, hello, welcome back to our channel. So again, back to the MCQ series. Before no going into the explanation of yesterday's MCQ, let me tell you the MCQ for today. So the today's MCQ is funnel shaped perforations through wing like retainers to enhance resin retention is option A, Maryland's bridge, option B, Rochette bridge, option C, Virginia bridge, option D, none of the above. So if you know the answers, please do uh, comment your answers in the comment section below or in the Instagram page and a special mention will be made for the correct answers. So come, let's go into the answers of yesterday's MCQ. So the yesterday's MCQ was the placement and direction of proximal grooves on 3 fourth crown on molar tooth. So the answer for this question is option A placed in buccal half and with buccal to lingual divergence. So what is this 3 4th crown and uh, reverse 3 4th crown and these uh, 7 by 8th crown. So all these are half crowns or uh, the crown which is uh, involving a limited area of the tooth crown. So for a whole crown preparation we involve all these uh, walls and along with the occlusal surface but when it comes to 3 4th crown we usually reduce only the lingual surface and the proximal surface and the half of the occlusal surface leaving the buccal side undisturbed. So when the buccal side is undisturbed the tooth surface in the buccal side is preserved and when you smile or when you speak the uh, posterior teeth which is seen in the buccal aspect is in a natural tooth form and only the back side of the or the lingual aspect of the tooth is uh, where the crown is placed. So in this reverse crown we usually give a groove for the retention. So if it is a whole crown we will have the whole tooth for the retention and the uh, tooth form will help in the retention but when it comes to a half crown or a 3 4th crown we usually do not have retention. So for that we will provide a groove in the proximal surface to prevent the lingual tipping of the crown. So similarly when it comes to reverse 3 4th crown we will have or we will preserve the lingual aspect of the tooth and we will reduce the buccal aspect of the tooth along with the proximal surface and the half of the uh, occlusal surface in the buccal aspect and leaving the lingual aspect undisturbed. So even in this tooth preparation we will give a groove in the proximal surface to prevent the tipping of the crown in the buccal aspect. So when we uh, place a groove there is a dimension to place the groove for the 3 4th crown and for the reverse 3 4th crown. So for a uh, 3 4th crown we will place the grooves in the proximal surface as we said before in the buccal aspect and it will have a buccolingual divergent. And when it comes to reverse 3 4th crown we will place the uh, grooves in the lingual aspect and we will have the uh, lingual to buccal divergent. So when it comes to 7 by 8th crown so we know 3, uh, 3 by 4th crown now and even the reverse 3 by 4th crown also we will have a idea. But what is this 7 by 8th crown? So 7 by 8th is more or less like a whole crown only right. So what is the 7.8 or 7 by 8? What is the reason behind the 7 by 8th crown is it is usually done in the posterior tooth that is maximum in the maxillary uh, first molar tooth. So in when it comes to maxillary first molar tooth we will be reducing the whole tooth leaving undisturbed the mesiobuccal cusp. So only the mesiobuccal cusp and the portion uh, below the cusp will be undisturbed and the all other surface area of the tooth will be reduced and we will have even the occlusal reduction leaving the mesiobuccal cusp. So this kind of cusp is usually used for the gold preparation. So gold tooth preparation we usually uh, prefer this uh, 7 by 8th crown and it is mostly used in the upper maxillary first molar. So in 3 4th crown we have anterior 3 4th crown and even the posterior 3 4th crown. So when it comes to anterior 3 4th crown we will be having a 1 mm reduction in the incisal edge at the angle of 45 degree and we will completely have a, a lingual reduction so that we will be uh, reducing the lingual surface in 2 steps. 
that is first step we will be reducing the lingual surface and the second step we will be reducing separately the cingulum or the lingual gingival surface. So, uh, in that way we will be creating a path of insertion for the crown and with that we will be having a proximal groove to support the uh, resistance and uh, the proximal groove will be placed in the more labial surface uh, without undermining the incisal uh, enamel or the labial enamel of the tooth. So, uh, these tooth are particularly made to prevent the uh, labial surface of the tooth so that when we smile or when we speak or the uh, aesthetic is maintained with the natural tooth. For the posterior 3 fourth crown as I said before we will be uh, reducing the lingual side of the tooth and we leaving the buccal aspect undisturbed and the occlusal reduction will be similar like a complete crown and we will be placing a groove in the proximal surface without disturbing the adjacent tooth. So, thereby we will be preventing the uh, buccal aspect of the tooth and in reverse 3 fourth crown we will be preventing the lingual aspect of the tooth. So, it is only the angulation. So, this is mainly used when the more lingually tilted tooth or buccally tilted tooth. So, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. So, let me see you all in the next video with the answers and do comment your answers in the comment section for the question which is mentioned in the start of the video.